Hello. Today's lesson is called I decided to move to France. In this lesson, we are going to study the past simple tense in three forms. Affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and yes-no questions. What do we use the past simple form? Number one. We use the past simple to talk about events in the past. For example, I decided to get a degree in management from Uzil. Use number two. We use the past simple when we give a specific time. For example, I decided to get a degree in management from Uzil last year. Did you watch the news on CNN yesterday? Here you have some expressions of time to use in the past simple. At 3 o'clock, in 1996, on Friday night, yesterday, last week, last month, last Saturday, last year, some time ago, two days ago, one month ago, when I started to work, when my company closed, so now we'll see how we form sentences in the past tense. We'll see affirmative and negative sentences. First, let's read two affirmative sentences. This is the order. Subject, the verb in past form, and an appropriate complement. I worked in a car plant some time ago. My work involved solving problems. Now let's look at the negative sentences. Here we need to use the auxiliary didn't and the verb in the base form. I didn't like working long hours, so I quit. He didn't earn very much in his last job. Now it's time to study how we form yes-no questions and short answers. We use did plus subject plus verb plus complement and a question mark. Let's see two examples. Did the airplane arrive on time? Did you have a good trip? And now let's look at two charts. The first chart shows how we form questions using did with any subject. I, you, he, she, it, we, or they, and the verb in base form. The second chart shows how we form short answers using yes or no. Read them carefully, please. So, we know how we form short answers for questions in the past, right? Fine. So, uh, what if I ask you this question? Did you grow up in Lima? What's your answer? Sure. Yes, I did. Or, 
No, I didn't. But you can also give additional information and give these answers. Yes, I grew up here in Lima. Or no, I grew up in Trujillo. Now, let's practice. I'll ask you some questions and you will answer them. Did you read the newspaper yesterday? Did you travel last year? Did you go to a school in Lima? Did you work yesterday? Did you understand this lesson? It's important to remember that verbs in the past can be regular. For example, cancel, cancelled, escape, escaped, stay, stayed, and irregular verbs. For example, go, went, have, had, pay, paid. I recommend that you read the list of irregular verbs on page 110 of your book. Now let's practice. Read the sentences and complete the blanks. Change the verbs in brackets into the past simple. You have four minutes to do it. Make a pause if you need more time. These are the correct answers. Let's compare them to your answers. Number one. Tom looked out of the window. Repeat. Tom looked out of the window. Two, we took the bus from the airport to the city center. Repeat, we took the bus from the airport to the city center. Three, Laura read the report carefully. Repeat, Laura read the report carefully. Four, they liked dinner at the restaurant. Repeat, they liked dinner at the restaurant. Five, some production engineers visited the plant last week. Some production engineers visited the plant last week. Six, we started our business two years ago. Repeat, we started our business two years ago. Seven, she said that her company has seven gyms. Repeat, she said that her company has seven gyms. Eight, I left for work late today. Repeat, 
I left for work late today. Now let's practice making complete sentences. Read the instructions. What did you do yesterday? Please write sentences about what you did yesterday. You can write positive or negative sentences. Look at the example. Watch TV. If you did this action, your sentence is positive, so you say, I watched TV yesterday. But if you didn't do the action, you should say, I didn't watch TV yesterday. You understand? Write true sentences about you, positive or negative. That depends on you. Take five minutes to do this exercise. Make a pause if you need more time. Right. So uh, let's check your sentences. Number one. Eat in a restaurant. The positive sentence is I ate in a restaurant. Repeat. I ate in a restaurant. The negative sentence is I didn't eat in a restaurant. Repeat. I didn't eat in a restaurant. Number two, get up early. The positive sentence is, I got up early. Repeat, I got up early. The negative sentence is, I didn't get up early. I didn't get up early. Number three, have a meeting. The positive sentence is, I had a meeting. Repeat, I had a meeting. The negative sentence is, I didn't have a meeting. Repeat, I didn't have a meeting. Number four, read a specialized magazine. The positive sentence is, I read a specialized magazine. Repeat, I read a specialized magazine. The negative sentence is, I didn't read a specialized magazine. Repeat, I didn't read a specialized magazine. Number five, speak English. The positive sentence is, I spoke English. Repeat, I spoke English. The negative sentence is, I didn't speak English. Repeat, I didn't speak English. Number six, go to bed before 10.30. The positive sentence is, I went to bed before 10.30. Repeat, I went to bed before 10.30. The negative sentence is, I didn't go to bed before 10.30. Repeat, I didn't go to bed before 10.30. Number 7. 
Number seven. Send emails. The positive sentence is, I sent emails. Repeat, I sent emails. The negative sentence is, I didn't send emails. Repeat, I didn't send emails. Number eight, do exercise. The positive sentence is, I beat exercise. Repeat, please. I did exercise. The negative sentence is, I didn't do exercise. Repeat, I didn't do exercise. Now it's time to practice and consolidate your knowledge of past tense. Complete this text with the verbs in the box. Pay attention because three verbs are in present and the rest in past. Take three minutes to do this exercise. Make a pause if you need more time. So, here you are the correct verbs. Please check your answers. So, the verbs in red are in the past and the ones in blue are in the present because the text talks about the past and the present. Listen and read the text. Then you will read it. In the past, everybody traveled to their offices and worked from 9 to 5. But about 20 years ago, working habits changed. The majority of home workers started their activity between 1995 and 2000 and most of them 44% are consultants before 1995 only 5% used email but now the percentage is much higher at least 94% Many people work in the evenings, 88%. Now read it, please. This time you have to make questions in the past using the words given. Remember to use additional words to make a complete question. Don't forget to use DID. Ready? Write the questions on a piece of paper. Make a pause if you need more time. Let's check your answers. Number one. Did Fiona grow up in France? Repeat. Did Fiona grow up in France? Number two. Did she go to a design school in Paris? Repeat. Did she go to a design school in Paris? Number three, did she buy an apartment in Jakarta? Repeat, did she buy an apartment in Jakarta? And one more exercise. This time you will read some information about Jamie McBride. Use the past tense to write about his life. Take some minutes to write a few sentences. 
then we'll check your work. Make a pause if you need more time. OK. Here you are some possible answers. Jamie worked as a designer in Glasgow from 1988 to 1992. Then he worked as a senior designer in New York from 1993 to 1996. He didn't like New York, so he left in 1996 and now he's a design manager in Milan. Now answer some questions orally. You can give short or long answers. Look at the charts to remember. I'll give you some time to think about your answer. First question. Did you study English at school? Second question. Did you travel abroad last year? Third question. Did you read the news this morning? Question 4. Did you have a meeting yesterday? Question 5. Did sales in your company increase last year? Question 6. Did you understand this lesson? Let's sum up. 1. We use the past simple to talk about events in the past. For example, I decided to get a degree in management from Mozilla. 2. We use the past simple when we give a specific time. Example, I decided to get a degree in management from Zil last year. 3. We can make affirmative sentences using verbs in past, regular and irregular. We use didn't to make negative sentences. 4. We can ask yes-no questions using Deet. We can give short and long answers.